and now kind of knowing you're officially in preseason mode? Uh, I mean, it's a little different, but I mean, we've been going hard this past couple weeks, and um, I've been doing drills that are similar to what we're going to do today, so um, a little change in terms of the length of practice, but in terms of intensity and focus. Uh, yeah. How is this team different than the previous ones you've been on? I mean, I think we're a lot deeper. I mean, we got, I think we're eight deep this year for sure. Um, definitely don't have one guy that, I mean, people know we're going to go to, like, the first two years. Um, and, I mean, I think this year can be one of our best offensive groups for sure. Um, just the way we play with each other, our chemistry, our ball movement, I think can be a really good offensive year for us. You're going to have a little bit of a showdown with Riley Luke for to, to see who gets the most threes by the time you get done. Uh, have you talked to her with her, or joked with her at all about the, the fact that you guys are kind of going head to head on that? No, no, I haven't talked to her at all, but I mean, Every time I see her in the gym in the mornings and stuff, I kind of, you know, I'm looking over like, like, let's go. <laughs> yeah. But uh, no, it'll be good. She's, I mean, she's a great shooter. She works so hard, so, I mean, yeah, it's going to be fun. What's 1% mean? Percent, uh, means 1% better every day. It's kind of, that was, I mean, we had this last year, but I think it applies to this year as well. I mean, 1% better every day. Well, that, I thought that was my my three my three point percentage. But, <laughs> <laughs> but, but, uh, but with, when we were talking to Marcus, he was talking about kind of <clears throat> the the really thin line between winning twenty games and losing twenty games. What did you guys learn from last season about how thin that is and how you can turn it the other way? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, last season. I mean, if you look back at it, we were in a ton of those games. I mean, up by five, tied. You know, um, I think it comes down to just finishing for us. That's been our kind of theme. That was our theme throughout the summer. Um, it's gonna be our theme throughout this whole fall. Is just finish, you know, every drill, finish every possession, you know, whatever it is. We just gotta finish everything. And I think if we do that, we'll make a huge jump. I think you know, uh, even last year, talking about the potential of this year's team. Uh, how excited are you guys to find out what the potential is now that you guys have all been in the fire? Uh, you've added a couple of key pieces. How excited are you to see what this team can do? Yeah, no, I'm really excited. I think everybody else is super excited as well. Um, but I mean, at the end of the day, everybody can be good on paper, but we got to come out here and start to prove it and get our chemistry right and, you know, yeah, just group together and show that we're good instead of just talking about it. Mark, Marcus said you guys took like a week off after the loss in the Mountain West tournament last year and everybody was already back in the gym. What, what, what did you see out of, out of your, group, your group of guys? And, and what did that mean to you where nobody really wanted an off season? Yeah, no, I think everybody was really disappointed with last year and we were ready to come back and work. And I mean, yeah, he's right. We we got for spring break, we were all back in here working out, you know, lifting and stuff again. So you know, that's just got to be our culture here is work hard. And yeah, I mean, we're obviously we're excited for um, this year. When you look at the new guys and some of the guys coming off our shirts and stuff, I mean, shooting wise versus team rank shooting wise in the, in the time you've been here? Yeah, one of the best for sure. I mean, Got Riley and Max coming off uh, their redshirt years. Uh, they're both great shooters. Um, Ray J is a good shooter. Um, uh, not really our bigs, but I mean, yeah, everybody is capable of hitting three points this year, so that's going to be deadly for us. How, how, did, how did you try to kind of embrace that that change from being a shooter to a scorer? I know it's it sounds yeah. it's it sounds you know it's, it sounds pretty easy, but what, what was the difference for you and being kind of be able to do that last season? Uh, I mean, yeah, it wasn't easy at all. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, yeah, it was tough. I mean, I'm used to, I was used to just kind of just sitting out there, letting others make plays for me. But you know, I had to adjust and definitely be more aggressive and start taking, I guess, tougher shots and forcing the issue a little more. So um, it's going to be that way again this year. Like I just gotta keep adjusting to that and keep trying to be aggressive and get out of my comfort zone for sure. You and Alex uh, both had off-season surgeries. Um, do you feel like you guys are both feeling a lot better and, and best you've ever felt? Or, you know, how, how yeah. is the body holding up now? Is yeah, no, I'm 100% I'm, I'm for sure. Uh, I had like a month and a half off after my surgery, so that's good. Uh, I, I know Hobbs is doing well, too. I mean, I think last week was like his first uh, practice, and, you know, he comes in and scores 10 straight points. <laughs> so, I mean, he's just that kind of guy. So, yeah, we're both doing good, for sure. How, how good can uh, DA be? What was his off-season work? Oh, I mean, yeah, Marcus already said the sky's the limit, and I mean, I've just been super impressed with his uh, growth as a leader as well, like being able to hold guys accountable and, um, you know, just be that vocal presence um, that, you know, we need at times for sure. But I mean, in terms of basketball ability, like, I mean, he's got way longer to go. He's, he's only just scratching the surface for sure.